but he's doing what he can. Um, I gotta give Infinity credit for his uh, late game. Um, it's better than mine, so not that you know, not that mine's good at all, but you know. And uh, this uh, two sky over here also is playing really well. Um, really, these guys are both emphasizing their econ game really well, and that's always something I admire because uh, it's not my forte. Um, lots of Thors. Uh, let's see what Zerg is creating. Just a few Hydralisks. Looks like he might be in dire straits monetarily. Oh, there's the ventral sack upgrade I was talking about earlier. Gonna be a, a big ol' a big go big go fat Zargling drop. Mm -hmm. Which I like um, with the Broodlord support. We'll see if Terran is going to counter or try and uh, defend this. I'm waiting with bated breath. So here it comes. Gonna drop his Lingzoids here. Yeah, that's what they're called now. Lingzoids. I don't know why I said that. And my game is a, is cooperating and running nicely. Now that there's 200, 200 food armies. I don't know. I don't know what my computer's deal is, but I'm glad it's working alright right now. Broodlords are coming in, and Terran so far hasn't decided what he's gonna do. Looks like he's going just to send the Hellions. Um, kinda need these guys, but... uh. <laughs> We'll see, I guess. Ah, oh, there, we don't need those guys because there's a ton of Vikings finished. While I wasn't paying attention, Infinity threw down four big old starports, so that's good. And the Hydralisks um, are going to try and defend against these Vikings, but that's what the, the Hellions come in here for. So good control by Infinity so far. Um, he, I need him to get these Vikings in here. There we go. And those Hydralisks aren't going to be able to stop that many Vikings and Hellions, or maybe they are. So yeah, these three broodlords still, still a rockin'. We got uh, corruptors and stuff building for. Oh yeah, this this is gonna get deflected, but at what cost? Um, let's take a look at the income tabs. Uh, yeah, red is still doing better monetarily. So looks looks a little grim for Zerg right now. We'll see if he pushes. Uh, yeah, looks like that. Bip <laughs> Tut tut tut. And he didn't really affect that much tech or supply. I mean, he is food blocked, but he didn't like cripple him with that attack. Um, I don't know. I don't know really who came out ahead in that fight. Um, I've got to give it to Terran, I think, though. Some more Broodlords hatching. Um, he's got his gold reestablished, but he's not mining from it. Lots of stuff to think of when you're in this late game area. <laughs> it's kind of tough. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to mess with that army. Not with that army. Ooh, yeah, it looks like this is going to be it. Because the Vikings have a really nice position here on these Broodlords. And, uh, yeah. So I'd call this, like, a pretty neat little, uh, I don't know, platinum, lower, lower diamond level game. I mean, these players weren't, these players weren't flash by any means, but they, they, they put on a good show. Um, definitely think it's over. Um, because, uh, yeah, Zerg is not going to be able to do anything about all these Thors and tanks. And there's the GG from Two Sky. Toski. Tio. Score. Sky. Two. Two. Two Ski. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, you know, just found a random replay. Thought I'd watch it, commentate on it, and then let you guys check it out. So, thanks for stopping by. And this has been Sahara Drac. I see Legacy.com. Make sure you check out the site. We don't have to take our clothes off to have a good time. Yeah, yeah. We can drink some cherry 